And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, this edition of uh, Saturday Morning New Distributor Training. My name is Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with ZG International, and it's um, my privilege to be able to be uh, the host today. Um, pretty excited about the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, first, I want to you know acknowledge you know welcome to all of you. There's a different categories of people that uh, that attend Saturday morning. Uh, notice a couple of our, uh, you know, top Zija earners, always a privilege to have you with us. Uh, many of our well-established distributors have been with us for some time. Um, what, what always is really intriguing to me is the number of people whose names I don't recognize in that you're, you know, relatively new distributors. And that's really what this time, uh, your focus for this period of time that we spend together. Um, Occasionally, there is somebody who isn't really, you know, involved with us yet. You know, maybe you've been using our products, um, hearing about the income opportunity. Um, you've been invited to take a look at some of the support resources we provide. And so, you know, warm welcome to all of you. I'm excited to be back in, uh, in the swing of things. Uh, I recently came off of, uh, uh, for the, uh, I celebrated the 25th anniversary of my 39th birthday here over the last couple of weeks. I've been incredibly blessed. Uh, I, I recognize that. Well, I always recognize that, but it was quite uh, evident to me uh, during this last couple of weeks. And I'll, I'll share with you here in a little bit uh, what some of that experience was, you know, what, how incredibly blessed I've been to be able to be part of this company, to be able to have uh, the financial resources, the time freedom, the leveraged income uh, that makes, you know, my life possible. Uh, for those of you that, you know, maybe I haven't had a chance to, to meet or get to know, um, my Zija story is pretty simple. You know, uh, uh, 10 years ago, I, I, I'd retired a number of years before that. I retired as a relatively young man because of success I'd had in a previous network marketing company. And uh, I had moved home to care for my elderly mother. And then when Zija came along, it was, you know, literally a, a dream come true to be able to be part of a Ken Brailsford company. Uh, the timing wasn't good. I mean, I was already retired. I was caring for my elderly mother. Yet the value of this kind of business is that you can essentially do what we do in any circumstance, in any environment. You create a business around your life not making your life conform to your work. And that's what the world does, okay? The world, you know, let's face it, I mean, you know, you don't really have an option of where you work, when you work, it's what the employer tells you. You know, they tell you when to show up, when to go home, what to do, and that sort of thing. In our type of business, you can literally restructure your business, your income generating activities, to work around your life, make make the most important thing the most important thing. What's the most important thing? You know, your family, your friends, the, the, the causes you care about, you know, your life, that should be the priority. And then the other thing should work around it. That's not really possible in the real world, but it is with Zija. And so uh, I took the opportunity to be part of this company, uh, I was fortunate in that, you know, the things that, that need to be to learn, I already knew, I'd already done very, very well in a preview. I retired from the industry a number of years before Zija. Um, that's really was kind of the, the uh, you know, the genesis of what we're doing this morning, Saturday morning, new distributor training to, to give back to the community some of the things that were, I was taught that allowed me to take you know, what most people take, you know, 40, 45 years to do to retire. I did that in 10 years with a previous company. And that's really what this morning is about. And so uh, welcome to all of you. I've got a lot of things I want to share. Let me do a couple quick things for you, uh, especially if this is, you know, you're just getting started with, especially if you're, you're new to the profession of network marketing. Uh, I encourage you to, to jot this uh, website address down. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. So my name, Fred Holmes uh, Zija, all you know, run together. 
Now, that YouTube channel is where I post the, you know, the trainings, the broadcast presentations, all the things that we do on an ongoing basis are posted there. But I did something else. Uh, I created, and this is, you know, this is probably going back a year ago now, uh, I created uh, a video, 30-minute video called New Distributor Training. And it's not a duplicate of what we're doing today. Saturday morning new distributor training is designed to focus on a particular topic, uh, expand on a, uh, on, some, on, a, on a point or something. Uh, I like to do question and answer session here. Um, but I encourage you to go to the YouTube channel, Fred Home, you know, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Eja. Uh, look for the link that says playlists. There is one playlist right now in that section. It's called New Distributor Training. You will find four videos there. The first one is 30 minutes long, and it is the foundation of everything that I have been taught and I've learned and now teach in the network marketing profession. It is a, a paraphrased version of my very first Saturday morning training with my very first company. It is everything that you need to know about creating success in a multi-level venture, and it's been tailored specifically to Zija. Now, I encourage you to take 30 minutes and watch that video, okay? Everything that I have learned and everything that I do that has created, you know, what I have today in Zija, it comes from that training. And... That training, that 30 minute training, is what I did uh, in a previous company. Uh, the activities that allow me to retire, you know, geez, what, 25, 30 years earlier than the average fellow retires. And so hopefully I'm really selling how important it is for you to go, uh, it, that it's important enough that you go spend 30 minutes and watch that video. Now, for those of you that are looking for higher level results, there are three additional little videos in that playlist. They're 10 minutes long each, so that's another 30 minutes. It's what we would call the fast start launch, how to get off to a fast start, how to create a prospect list, how to develop your story, 90-day game plan, all compressed into three little videos of about 10 minutes each. And so if this is your first time to be part of Saturday Morning New Distributor Training, this is not the deal what you're going to hear over the next say 30 minutes that's not everything okay i'm going to focus on a couple of things today to kind of expand go into more depth that's what we use saturday mornings for but you want to take advantage of those you know four little videos to get the foundation okay that's probably the best way to uh, and then build upon that foundation that's probably the best explanation now once you've done that, you know, every single Saturday morning, we're going to have, you know, myself or another top leader uh, that'll be sharing, expanding, giving you more, you know, information, more insight, you know, more in depth on a particular topic and that sort of thing. While I was on hiatus celebrating my 25th anniversary, <laughs> um, some of you are trying to do the math. I turned 64 years old. Okay, so for those of you that are not really good at math like I am, 64. Folks, this is what 64 is supposed to look like. My, uh, you know, my uh, body mass index is exactly smack dab in the middle of where it's supposed to be. My uh, percentage of body fat is one point above athletic. Now I'm in the best shape of my entire life. I weigh what I did, you know, in my early 20s. I take no medication and I can work circles around guys that are, you know, 20 years younger than me. Why is that? Zicha, these products. And when you have products like this, this is what creates opportunity. Now, many people come to us because of the products. They come to us because of the results they've had on the products, and they're looking for a way to create some additional income. Everything I'm going to share with you this morning is applicable to anyone, whether you're looking for that extra, you know, two or three hundred dollars a week, you know, an extra thousand dollars a month. Uh, that's the backbone of Zija Distributor Base. People, and if you think about it, 
how would you how would your life be different today if your boss had given you an extra 10 or 15,000 dollar a year raise last year how would your life be different today i want you to think about that because an extra 2 or 300 dollars a week an extra 1000 dollars a month is like having a 10 to 15,000 dollar a year raise from your boss without having to go get another job or, you know, I mean, let's face it, most people, I mean, unless you're a CEO of some big company, you probably ain't, didn't get a $10,000 a year raise last year. That's what our profession's about. But much of what I want to share with you is geared towards those of you that are looking to go beyond that, to be able to create, you know, a full-time income, to replace your current income. And imagine if you could maintain your current lifestyle, but not have to be dependent upon the job, not have your life structured by somebody else, being able to have that flexibility to you know, work from home, work from your car, work from your family vacation, to be wherever you want to be doing whatever you want to do and still have that same level of income. Or build a part-time ZJ business that that du duplicates your current income, have twice the income, your job and as easy business. For many of us, this has turned into going beyond, you know, replacement levels of income, you know, financial independence, financial security. It's gone even beyond that to financial abundance. It's really only limited to what your goals are, what your aspirations are. And it all comes down to some fundamental things. And I want to uh, uh, share with you something that, uh, that made a lot of sense to me. Uh, to kind of put, because, you know, the real question is, what is it that we do? Okay, and I, again, I encourage you to go to the playlist and listen to the new distributor training. But I got a few things for you. And this could help you because um, something that, if you would all do this for me, please, Make a note sometime this week, go and listen to three broadcasts, okay, three recordings. Our ZJ Nation call this past Tuesday, and that'll be on Facebook under ZJ International, and just scroll through it to, to uh, find the ZJ Nation call. There was a young man by the name of Jason West that gave a short presentation on the ZJ Nation call. Uh, I remember meeting Jason, um, probably about four years ago, I'm thinking, probably about four years ago. Uh, he had just hit Diamond. It was his first part of a, you know, first time he got to attend a Diamond Club uh, retreat. I think we were in Florida. Uh, very unassuming young man, you know, not, you know, not flying boy and bigger than life personality that people think, you know, the top income earners are. Um, but he was clearly a young man who was destined for success because he embodied the key elements of success. He's, he's incredibly giving. Okay? His desire for other people's success is greater than his own desire. But he said something on that call. That's why I encourage you to go listen to what he said. He said, the two best friends of execution, what it is we do, executing, you know, doing the deal. The two best friends of execution are simplicity and consistency. And, and I'm really afraid that a lot of people miss that. It was such a significant statement that, that Jason made. I wrote it down. I'm going to use that. And if I use it enough, I'll eventually people say, oh, Fred always says this and nobody will know Jason said it, right? <laughs> that's how I learn. That's how I, you know, do everything. You know, if I say it often enough, then I'm the guy that did it. Seriously? Give me just a minute. I'm not really sure. I guess the real question is, why weren't you on this uh, on this broadcast instead of trying to call me, right? <laughs> so, um, pardon me for that. Uh, so the answer to the question, was this live or was this recorded, right? Um, a couple other things I want you to do. Uh, I'd like you to go back and review uh, the two previous Saturday morning new distributor trainings. 
in my absence, uh, I was very blessed to have a number of team members that filled in for me. Um, I don't know if it's if it's a compliment or not. Uh, best attendance uh, was when I wasn't the host, so <laughs> makes me kind of feel like maybe I don't maybe I should go back on vacation, right? Uh, but uh, Candace um, Smiley covered one of those Saturday morning uh, new distributor trainings. Um, uh, Amy McKenzie has uh, has helped me out as well. Doug Stroop. There's a number of people, and I'm not going to go through everybody because I'm going to forget somebody, but a number of our field leaders supported uh, my efforts uh, with the organization while I was gone. But I encourage you to go and listen to the, the last two Saturday morning trainings. Um, Amy McKenzie did a, an absolutely incredible job talking about how to share the story. Okay? And, and I encourage you to go check out what she did because it was it was one of the best presentations that I've heard on how to share your story. And the story is the key ingredient in promoting of what we do. Um, Candace uh, Smiley and then her sponsor, uh, Phil Jacobson, they talked about the system, okay? How to invite people, uh, how to present to people, how to validate, doing what we do okay and and i encourage you to go and and watch both of those broadcasts because that was both of them were, were frankly they did a lot better job than i do okay and so you know i guess i'm the sign that you know you don't have to be that good at this to do really well if you follow the comments that i just shared with you from jason west the two best friends of uh execution are simplicity and consistency now I got something that, you know, you may want to jot this down in your notes. Uh, I always keep my journal handy. I encourage you to do the same thing. Jot this information down. Um, the who, what, when, where, and why of what we do. Okay. First of all, let's talk about what. What is it that we do? Because if you take a what appears to be a very complex thing, creating a, you know, multi-million dollar business, creating a multiple six-figure annual residual income. Imagine that. Imagine having, you know, uh, an income that is, that puts you in the top one or two percent of income earners in the entire country, but it's residual. It's not dependent upon you showing up for work every day. I'm a living example of that. Something that you can create on a part time basis and be able to develop that you know that to me is extraordinary that is like unbelievable and so people think it's incredibly complicated and something that can't be done by the average person i'm gonna break this down to you what is it that we do okay three things write this in your this is all we do and frankly if you're doing any more than uh, doing other things around this you're probably missing the boat we share our product, number one. Number two, we share our opportunity. And number three, we teach others to do the same. That's all there is. Now, certainly there's other things involved. I mean, we promote our events, uh, you know, we work on our own personal development, so on. But the foundational elements of success are share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same. So that's what we do. Now, who do we do it with? Everybody. Okay, it's no, it can't get any simpler than that. Everybody, every single person, every single person that you, that you have ever known, that you know today or you'll ever meet in the future, has these things in common. Okay, they would like to create more income, have more time freedom or have more fun in their life. I guarantee it. Show me somebody who has all of those three things and in as much abundance as they desire. They're making all the money that they could possibly ever want. They have all the time freedom in their life that they could possibly ever desire. And they're having all the fun doing it that they could ever imagine. Okay. People, who is that? Well, that's, that's a Zija diamond, maybe, right? 
<laughs> but um, no, the fact is, is that every single person that you'll ever meet is, needs our products. If they breathe, they should be using our products. Even if they're in excellent health, they should be using our products to protect themselves from our environment, or the chemicals that we use, and so on. Okay, everybody wants our income. Out. So who do you share the products, share the opportunity to teach to do the same? Everybody, everybody. When do you do this? At every opportune moment. See, there is no time of the day that's better than others. It's whenever, right? This is how you can actually carry your business with you. Um, whenever you, uh, wherever you are, listen to people because there is, there's always going to be an opening. When somebody's talking about their health issues, their financial issues, what have you, that's when you talk, okay? It's not limited to you know certain hours of the day, certain days of the week. You can do this from wherever you are, shopping in the store, pumping gas in the car, you know, working out of the gym, whatever. Uh, where do you do this? Wherever you are. See, this is one of the beautiful things about not only our type of business, but in the 21st century with the technology we have. Um, you work this around your life. My situation, I mean, I do 99% of my business is done from home, right here, right, just the way I'm doing it. You know, whether it be a video conference, a telephone call, um, you know, I'm literally uh, maybe 10, 15 feet from mom, just on the other side of that door. Um, today, we have more challenges than we had a few years ago. And so I have um, uh, a support person at home with me. That way I've got somebody watching mom uh, in case she needs something or what have you while I'm doing this, okay? And I have the financial resources to cover that. You can do this from wherever and in any environment that you want. For other people, they like going out to do this. You know, maybe going to a, you know, a home party or a hotel meeting or meeting people one-on-one -on -one at the, the coffee shop or what have you. You can do this from wherever you desire. Now, the last one is why. So we've covered, you know, who, what, when, where, now why. And, and I just gotta do this just because I gotta do this and because I can't. Everybody has a different why. Uh, you know, why do you need to be successful? Why do you need to have, uh, you know, income that surpasses your needs? Why do you, need to, to do the, whatever your reason why, care for your children, care for your parents, care for your community, maybe there's a, you know, a charity, a, a, you know, a missionary, or what, something that you want to contribute to. If you think about it, like most people would want to help their friends and their family financially, you know, help their cause, help their church, whatever. Why don't they? Because they don't have the money. Okay, if you think, I mean, in, in, uh, you know, I was about to say something, I don't, I don't want to say it, but the fact is, most of the people that I know that are in my income category uh, give incredible amounts of financial resources to others because they can. That's the point, because they can. Now, why? One of the, now, my biggest why has always been. Uh, you know, to care for my family. That was the reason I got involved in network marketing was initially to be able to provide the resources that my son needed as he entered school age. Um, following that, it was to be able to provide the time necessary to raise my first grandchild. Uh, then ultimately, and all of this happened, you know, as a result of that first decade in network marketing allowed me to, you know, create an environment where I didn't have to work anymore, to be able to move home and take care of mom and not be dependent upon a job. Um, the, uh, you know, the, that's always been the reason, but there's other things. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm not real good at this. Let me, give me just one second. Um, share. Here's part of why. Okay. When the time comes that I get to take a little break, I get to do it in my fashion. Um, that's uh, That was actually uh, Honolulu Airport. Um, I had a quick layover, 
and I did a, a quick uh, uh, Zoom meeting, right? Video presentation. This is my view from my home office, right? Um, that's my beach. Now, when I say my beach, I want you to look at that beach. Isn't that a beautiful beach? Do you notice how many people are on that beach? Uh, whoops, didn't mean that picture. It's an undisclosed island location, so you didn't see that. Eh, we'll go ahead, you can't tell. That's how you get to that beach. That's the Jeep trail. That's why there's nobody there, because it's hard to get to. That's uh, my condo there on the, on the, uh, on the right side. Uh, again, my beach, notice how many people are at my beach. Again, notice how many people are at my beach. Again, see, uh, uh, hang on, let's stop this here. Uh, so anyway, just had to do that because see, it's not everybody else's, you know, dream, okay? But for me to be able to be at a place like that, uh, to have the beach to myself, that how can you put a price on that okay that's one little thing that this opportunity has created now it may not be your deal maybe you want to go snow skiing or what have you um but it's just one more element of why we do this now i want to talk about two quick things and i'm going to open this up for a question and answer one of the our key leaders uh, Doug Stroop uh, earlier today on a uh, on a team call was talking about momentum, and I want to share this with you, folks, because we've got ten weeks left before our convention, and that's an incredibly long period of time. You can accomplish some significant goals if you understand what Jason West said. Okay, the two best friends of execution are simplicity and consistency. Momentum. Creating momentum is a single thing. You just do the deal, but you do it consistently over a prolonged period of time. In the beginning of your Zegit business, it will take 10 parts of energy to create one part of momentum. Just like when I used to drive 18 wheelers, creating momentum in a truck was very difficult. The way it was done was going through one gear at a time, you know, uh, gear after gear after gear. It took a great deal of time to get up to freeway speed. I just, you know, out of a, there was one truck I had, had a four and five, 20 gears. I'd run through, you know, 15, 16, 18 of those gears just to get up to freeway speed or, you know, close to it. Um, but once you were got there, you could sustain 10 parts of momentum with one part of energy. In our type of business, it's a matter of doing what we do, share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same, and do it consistently day after day, week after week, month after month. And in the beginning, it's not going to seem like you're getting a lot of traction. You're not going to be, it's like you're getting a lot of forward movement. You just have to be confident and faithful and understanding that you're doing the deal. That's what it takes. So consistency. Did you share the product with one person today? Did you share the opportunity with one person today? If you think about that, one new customer or one new distributor doesn't make you a diamond income earner in ZJ. However, over a period of a year, if you share the product with one person a day, there's 365 people that have been exposed to your product. You're going to have a lot of customers. If you share the opportunity with one person a day, that's 365 people at the end of a year that you've shared our opportunity with, you're going to have a number of distributors. And of those distributors, you can be confident that a percentage of them will take the opportunity and run with it. It's the 80-20 rule. It's always been that way. It's something that Jim Rohn talks about, okay? Building your business is like building a home. You don't see the finished results in the beginning. You have to continue the process until you get there. So creation of momentum 
is more about a consistent daily method of operation. Now, the simplicity part, and here is something, if, you, if this is the one thing you take away from today's training, then it'll be one of the most valuable things you'll, you'll know. That is your story. If you want to understand how to be successful getting a new customer, getting a new distributor, uh, teaching others, getting people to want to do what we want them to do, Folks, don't worry about all the things you think are important. Learn the stories and create your own. The most important thing to cause people to move forward is the story. Um, one of the videos on that playlist I talked about, you know, on, the, on my YouTube channel, uh, is the development of your story. So I'm not gonna do that because you can go and listen to that training without me having to duplicate it right now. But let me share this with you. If there's one skill set that you wanna develop is your capacity, your ability to share the story. Share your story and the stories of others. I had a very interesting uh, conversation, uh, I believe it was yesterday, one of my, one of my distributors uh, uh, conference called me into to one of his new people and at the end of the, the call we kind of did a regroup on it because it isn't a matter of can I do it it's a matter of can I teach it and uh, my, my new distributor got it okay what he noticed was I didn't talk a lot about ingredients I didn't talk a lot about uh, you know the science behind the product or you know how it, the price points compare whatever I simply talked about the stories. I shared my personal story because the guy, well, he's a young guy. He's, you know, 60. To me, if you're 60 years or younger, you're a young guy. Uh, but I shared my story relative to improved energy and so on. I shared my mother's story. I shared a couple of other product testimonials. And this guy went from being on the product for a week, being kind of ho-hum, yeah, well, no, I really noticed much results to, yeah, I'm gonna give it the, the full 30 days and uh, you know, and I'm excited about what's gonna happen. And he'd had the premium tea and hadn't used the premium tea. And so now he's gonna, that night, he was gonna do the premium tea, right? And so I didn't do things that were unduplicatable. I didn't talk about product information, uh, ingredients, science, any of that stuff. I simply shared the stories in this particular case, because it was a, a customer, the product stories, my product story, product stories of others. And in the process, I was teaching this customer how we do the business, because that's really the point my, my, my new distributor would like to see this person become a distributor, uh, because he's who we're looking for successful businessmen, large, uh, um, you know, contact base, good credibility within that contact base. You know, I mean, the criteria of what we look for. So, how to sustain and advance your momentum? Daily method of operation. What is it we do? Share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same. Consistency of effort over a prolonged period of time is the key to having extraordinary results. And then finally, number one skill to, uh, to, uh, to learn is sharing the story. How do you get this knowledge? Go back to the two previous Saturday morning trainings or on my YouTube channel, you'll see them there, um, uh, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Listen to Amy McKenzie. Listen to Candace Smiley. Amy talked about the story. Candace Smiley and, and her, her upline, Phil Jacobson, talked about the system, how to, you know, invite, present, validate. Um, go to uh, my YouTube channel under playlists. Listen to the new distributor training and in particular, how to do your story. Okay, how to develop your story and how to share your story. So all that's online and available to you. And um, uh, I have Amy McKenzie. Uh, I was just talking about Amy doing the story. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Amy come over and join me. Uh, we're going to do some question and answer. I want you to be formulating questions you have. But I want, uh, let's see here. Let's get Amy. Amy, I'm going to bring you over to this side of the broadcast here. Just kind of give you a little heads up. Um, 
Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Hey, Amy, how are you? Oh, let me unmute you. There we go. Now you're with me. How are you? Excellent. Good morning. Good morning to you. Let's see. Let me turn the volume up here. I hear me just fine. So I'm going to have to turn <laughs> you up a little bit. And uh, Amy, um, uh, uh, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, so many other people for filling in in my absence. Uh, and dang you, because you did such a good job. People are going, ah, does Fred have to come back? You know, why can't we have Amy all the time? <laughs> but uh, uh, I really appreciate uh, your support and your efforts. And, and, uh, and the fact of the matter is that's really always been my goal is to have people that are much better than me. You did an excellent, excellent uh, presentation on Saturday concerning uh, um, the, the, the sharing of the story, how to share the story. And, uh, and I appreciate you taking a few minutes to be able to join me right now uh, for question and answer. Uh, let me do this here real quick and I'm going to check, but, uh, Amy, uh, you know, you've been listening to what we've been talking about maybe cause, cause you're one of those people. I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're Zedra royalty now. Everybody knows who Amy McKenzie is. You know, you're certainly one of our most sought out trainers, presenters. I mean, I know you're getting calls from everywhere to go all over the country. Uh, I think you're actually going to be part of that special, uh, presentation in, um, Northern California here in a couple of weeks. You're out in Houston in a couple of weeks and Virginia and, uh, and I don't know where else you're going these days. <laughs> it's hard to keep, you know, it's hard to keep track of Amy McKenzie because she's everywhere. Uh, but maybe you could share a little bit for the people that, that haven't met you, share a little bit about your story. And, and I guess what I'm hoping to illustrate for everybody is that you also weren't an overnight success. You didn't just, you know, leave your job and become a Zija Emerald driving the fancy Mercedes that, that the company pays for, right? That's a fact. <laughs> I remember being a Builder 500, sitting in the very last row of my first summit. And that was a big deal. But, I, you know, uh, I also remember saying to you, well, a little bit later down the road, well, I'm only a Builder 500 and I got in big trouble. Um, you made it very clear I was never allowed to use the word only prior to saying Builder 500, and I really get it now. Um, it's, it's the most important rank advancement in your whole career because it takes you from someone who happened to tell someone to someone who's actually building a business. It's the launch, and it really took something to create that. Uh, for me, you know, we had one product. It was early days. No one had ever heard of Moringa. Uh, I was a thousand miles from anyone in any direction. I was working three jobs. I'd never done this before. Um, and no one that if from my previous career would even consider it or my family. So it was yeah. really, really challenging. Uh, and I'm a single mom. Um, but I, I also really understood that when you, as you talked about, really have a passion for something you want to create, and you have something that you believe in, which I did. I've studied nutrition, well at that point it was 30 years. Um, and I knew when I saw the Moringa, there was, there's nothing else like it. Well, that was a decade ago. There's still nothing like it. We actually have no competition. In fact, if anyone's ever tried to duplicate what we have, they haven't admitted it because they failed, clearly. Um, it's the only right beverage that's, a, the whole plant and it's enzymatically alive, right? I believed in it and I needed to. And I believed in Ken. His integrity is clear. There's nothing to believe. It's just fact. And so that I used that as a way of girding myself, if you will, right? That was the foundation that gave me the courage. Now, you guys got to understand, my palms would be sweating, which is how I show fear, right? My heart would be pounding. It really took something to lift up that phone. And what I did that got me through that was I thought about my why. My why for me is my daughter. As a single mom, it's been, you know, we've been the team. And um, she happens to be quite gifted. Um, I blame it on her dad. But she, um, she really deserved a really great school. You know, you can go a lot further, as we all know, if you got that piece of paper from a fancy school. And uh, I didn't know how I was going to do it. But I knew it had to happen. It was the one thing in my life I was going to make sure that she got the education she deserved. And it drove me. 
Now, were there days I forgot? Uh huh. So I would play little tricks with myself. I would um, get out, I bought like a bunch of sticky notes and I wrote, you know, Valia's College, that's her name, and stuck them on my mirror. I stuck them on my dashboard. I put them on my notebook. I mean, anywhere I would look, right? So that I would be reminding myself when it got really hard. I had one right stuck to the phone, right? Because I actually had a landline at those days. And, uh, and it kept me going because there were times when it was hard. People would say no, and I'll never forget. One week, I was kind of getting some traction. And uh, within one week, it seemed like everybody in my organization that, or my customers all had a conversation and said, we should all quit this week. <laughs> Seven people. And all for legitimate reasons. You know, one lost their job. One was traveling. One was... You know, they all, all, almost, well, except for one, all came back. But in that week, I didn't know they were going to come back. And I called Fred. I was, I was destitute. That wasn't like half my organization, <laughs> right? Oh, my God, what am I going to do? And, you know, it's funny. I, I didn't yet have the perspective I have now. But you, you told me then. You said, you know, it's hard to believe now. But a day will come where someone will have to tell you that seven people left your organization. Because you'll have no idea. Now I have seven people joining and I don't have any idea, right? I might notice the numbers have changed a little, maybe. Um, it's so different, but it didn't start that way. And I remember sitting in the back of that summit thinking to myself, oh, what's it gonna take? I don't know, I'm, I'm not as good as those people. I don't have that, you know, I don't know this business. I don't, and uh, it was really your training, Fred. I got to say, and I, I really respect a lot of leaders in this company and they've all, so many have gifted me with perspectives or ideas or a phrase here or there, but your consistency with your message uh, and plugging into that every single week is what got me through. Uh, I didn't have a story, for instance. So every week I was listening to the Pat Anderson's health talk. I was listening to your business talk. Um, you know, I would re redo that fast start training. But you told me, you said, you know, that's great that you did it once because I was all proud of myself. Okay, I did the fast start training, like clicked it off my list. He said, great, now I'll do it 50 more times. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, do it till you can teach it. Oh, so I did. And it made the difference. And in that process, hearing other people's stories, being reminded on it like two, three times a week, why am I doing this? I mean, sometimes I was on dishes, doing dishes with you on mute, okay? Couldn't I, you know, slinging laundry, whatever, driving on my way to the next job. But it made a difference. It kept me plugged in. And then going to the summit, as I'm sitting there, you know, having self-doubt, at lunch, I met, started meeting some people. And they started sharing their stories and how they had felt that way. And that, you know, no matter what they had now, they still started with two people. Like, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Everybody starts with two. And that if you just keep inviting, eventually, I mean, don't you think it's a good idea? Well, like, yeah, that's why I'm here. Well, I thought it was a good idea. That's why I'm here. All the people in this room think it's a good idea. I guess you're not crazy. So just keep asking people, and eventually you'll find the people who want to do this. And that's all I've done, Fred. Stay consistent. Well, and, and Amy, you know, if, if people understood the challenges that, you've had and 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 you've been pretty candid i mean uh you know from your previous career you know in theater none of those people wanted to follow you to egypt your family members you know other than your daughter okay who consistently uses the product every single day none of your family at least you know up till fairly recently wanted to to participate even to you know use the product right mm -hmm. Um, what has been the number one thing that's allowed you to go from where you were to being able to provide for your daughter's education? And then now something you said on one of your previous broadcasts, um, I think it was last Saturday that I'll just share, uh, you know, you accomplished your first goal, get your daughter, the education that, that this brilliant child deserved. And I mean, I don't know, uh, you know, what is she like curing cancer now or something? I don't know what she's doing. She's got like 47 degrees or whatever. Um, but now your, your second uh, goal is to make sure that she'll never 
you know, that you'll never be dependent upon her, that she'll never have to worry about, you know, to become self-sufficient, you know, that, uh, I forget how you put it, but you'll never be a burden on your daughter. Right. You know, and, and, and folks, every single person out there has at least as much uh, going for them as Amy did and what's the consistency or the, the consistent theme that, that Amy's done. She just didn't quit. She plugged in, write this in your notes. She plugged into resources and Amy was lived, I, what, 2,500 miles from me when I sponsored her. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think almost a year went by. It was like, it was the first convention before we actually got a chance to see each other. And this, this predates, you know, video conferencing, right? Now we get to see each other every day. Right. <laughs> uh, but she plugged in, mm -hmm. she was constantly calling me. She was on every one of the, of the, you know, that she could possibly make. She was plugged in. She didn't wait for me to call her. She called me, she plugged in and she stayed consistent. That's the reason Amy McKenzie has become who she is in Zija. You know, guy like me, you know, honestly, you know, I'm not particularly special, but I look really good because of that. Share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same, do it consistently every single day over a prolonged period of time, even if it's only 20 or 30 minutes a day, but don't skip a day and look what happens. You know, it's, it's called Sinaloa, safety in numbers and law of averages. If you put enough numbers up, just have full faith and in, in, in belief in the law of averages. Uh, Amy, I'm, I'm, I'm actually concerned that we're done too good a job here because I'm looking for questions from people. Okay, we do got one. Okay. Thank you, folks. Uh, let's see, uh, from... Mary, Amy, you're awesome. I agree. From Candace, love you, Amy. I agree. Um, everybody loves Amy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I ditto, made rules ditto, ditto. over. I'm sorry. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Right back at all of you. Yeah, but uh, but I make royalty overrides on Amy, so <laughs> I got an extra reason to love her. Let's see. We oh, thank you, Mary. Is Mary said we love Fred too. Uh, let's see. Question for Amy. Any dates set for upcoming East Virginia would be, uh, it would be an opportunity to bring some people to an event I hail from Southeast Virginia and, uh, oh, that's Diana Barnes. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Diana, I'll reach out to you for sure. I don't have a date set yet, but I can tell you it's likely to be third weekish in Virginia in the Charlottesville area. How's that <laughs> to start? Haven't quite nailed down the date yet. Okay, very good. And, uh, um, and so, but, uh, you know, you can get directly in uh, Diana Barnes knows direct. Let's see. Uh, when can I share this call? Uh, Angel, uh, I post everything, you know, biz talks on Thursday nights, Saturday morning distributor trainings, uh, special team calls that I do. All of that's posted on the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Okay. Amy's presentation from last Saturday is there. Candace Smiley uh, did a, just an excellent presentation with Phil Jacobson on the system. That was two weeks ago on Saturday. That's on the YouTube channel. Uh, this will be, um, you know, takes a couple hours by the time, as soon as I'm through here, then I'm with mom. And I just got to, you know, it got to be rendered and then I posted it. Give it a couple hours, okay? Here's a real good one for you, a little tip. Instead of waiting around and checking, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, then you get an email or a notification telling you that I just uploaded a new video. Okay, so there you go. Easy peasy. I'll give you a direct, I'll tell you exactly when it's done. Just subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's see. Thank you. I'm a subscriber. Oh, well, good for you. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, just in case somebody asks. I make no money doing this. When I ask you to subscribe to my channel, I'm not monetizing my channel. This is just strictly for you. I always kind of funny, you know, like me and friend me on Facebook, you know, or whatever, right? Um, Amy, I appreciate uh, uh, you always get, you know, taking time to out of your schedule because I know you're a busy schedule. I'm not even sure where you are today. <laughs> I'm in Los Angeles today and I'll be here <laughs> 
for about a week and then okay, Seattle. Okay, very, very good. Um, and then uh, do you have, uh, do you want to announce the, uh, the uh, one of your key team members is doing the big Northern California event here. You want to do a quick, uh, quick uh, promotion for that? I was hoping you'd uh, give me an opportunity. Yeah, Kevin Steele, one of our rising stars, um, guy's got a heart of gold, young man, very clear, very knowledgeable about nutrition. Uh, in fact, he had um, his own health food uh, smoothie uh, set up for a while, and he's decided he's having so much fun with Zgen. It's so powerful, such a powerful way to move people into health um, that he's gone full time, and he's launching his first event. Uh, it'll be up near Mount Shasta on Lake Shasta, actually. And uh, we can always post that flyer too, Fred, if you want. I'll share that with you. Um, it's going to be an all-star cast. We've got uh, Mike McLean, who heads up our Ameo division. Uh, we have Reed Nelson, Triple Diamond executive, one of my favorite leaders. Um, Who's Triple Diamond, yep. Yep, and you can see uh, him interviewed by Fred. Wonderful. Uh, he and his wife, Yvonne, are just warm-hearted. Uh, you'd never know that they're superstars because they don't wear it on their sleeve, but they really are. And um, and then a possibly even surprise guest. And you guys got to understand, this is Kevin's first official event. Now, he's done lots of home meetings and some in his business location. Why is he able to pull in these stars? This is really meaningful because he's never missed an event. And why can I call all the people I can call? If I need a leader to come in and do a three-way for me, cross line, because we do it for each other all the time in, in ZG Nation, mm -hmm. because I've never missed an event. That's where you meet everybody. That's where you connect. And if you follow them, you begin to build a relationship. What, is, what are we really doing here? Building relationships with wonderful people. If you were going to ask me one thing to walk away with today, it's not just, you know, follow the by rote, be consistent, it's not robotic. Just go talk to people, mm -hmm. build relationships. If one of your three things that day is to talk to somebody, you don't even have to mention Zija. Just start listening, get to know people. Eventually the time will come. You'll know when it is. We're not salespeople. Don't feel any pressure about that. Just be in your heart, be with people and it'll happen. When? I don't know but you'll meet a lot of great people in the meantime, so who cares, right? And what else are you gonna to do to build a six-figure residual income? So go to events, go to Kevin Steele's event. It's gonna be August 11th, Lake Shasta. Uh, we'll get a flyer out to you through uh, Fred somehow and uh, really recommend it. It's gonna be wonderful and boy, I have fabulous people on my team. I mean, all of ZG Nation's pretty great, but of course, for me, I'm prejudiced, but I really do have the best team. <laughs> you do, I agree. I do. <laughs> um, let's see real quick here. Let's see. Uh, um, let's see. Community connections. Is right? we, we're, okay. Amy, we already talked about that. Uh, do's at Carmen asked about what are your do's and don'ts about your story? Uh, two things, Carmen, and cause we we're, we're, we're hitting the amount of our lot of time. Go to last week. What was that? Today's uh, the, what, the 21st, July 21st, go on my YouTube channel, go to July 21st new distributor training with Amy McKenzie. She does an excellent presentation on that, including what to say and what not to say. Okay, so I go there and then go listen to my 10 minute video on the playlist on my YouTube channel on how to build your story. It's not as good as Amy's presentation, but I did it in 10 minutes, okay? But I will quote something that you said to me a long time ago and I've never forgotten it. If it doesn't need to be said, don't say it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if it doesn't need to be said, don't say it, um, yeah. which is something I've been, tried to be learning all my life. I had a friend one time tell me, if you ask Fred what time it is, he'll teach you how to build a watch. Uh, <laughs> uh, they calls for it. I got to show up, make the connection, make the relationship. Yes, yes, Candace Smiley. You, you guys should be looking at Candace Smiley's con uh, comments. Uh, same thing with Lauren Best. Uh, will there be any events in the West Virginia area? West Virginia, hmm. West Virginia. Um, uh, Angel, uh, 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 do you have an answer for that? Because I was just going to tell Angel, look at the um, uh, Zija events website. Yeah, it's not on my roadmap at the moment, but that's not to say it couldn't be in the future. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I would check ZijaEvents.com in the distributor section. Uh, and just kind of connect with anything that may be going on. Uh, but you're welcome to reach out to me. You know, you could go through Fred. 
um, you know, if I can be of any support, I'm happy to. Um, you know, uh, something else here, and 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 I'm just I, I can't believe I missed this. Pat Anderson is also part of this broadcast. I'm um, kind of wishing I was uh, you know did a little better job with Pat Anderson being here. Pat made a comment, and I just want to to point out something uh, you know why is pat anderson you know got the fastest growing organization in zija i mean pat is doing the deal uh this is her comment okay listen is the most important word all right uh i'll paraphrase that uh i call it do the math god gave us two ears and one mouth think about that one and do the math if you're listening to people instead of trying to tell them to buy the product or tell them to join the opportunity or tell them why this is something they need just listen people tell you what they need to hear all right we're at the top of the hour uh amy thank you so much folks we got an incredible week coming up ahead of us here in the uh, zija nation uh plug in get on the uh get on the team email list uh plug into the youtube channel pat and uh, let's talk about the week event david moses monday millionaires and training facebook live tuesday uh, Pat Anderson doing a virtual business presentation. Go to clubmoringa.com, www.clubmoringa.com. Uh, you can uh, can get involved in that there. Wednesday evening, Pat Anderson does health talks. Again, clubmoringa.com. Thursday, biz talks. Uh, I'll be hosting that one. Uh, we'll do a business presentation, have a guest speaker. Uh, I know I don't know who the guest speaker is because I don't have it on my calendar right now. Uh, Saturday morning, new distributor training. All right, so we're out of here. Amy, thank you so much. You look lovely, darling. All that thank good you ZD you're drinking, right? All right, thank That's you. Right. Have a great <laughs> rest much. of your week. Bye-bye. Thank you.